All right, the next layer of material we're going to study is in flashcards. This is material that's really important to memorize for the test, but it's not quite fundamental enough to warrant putting into the brain dump. Your brain dump needs to be nice and concise so you can write it out during the first 15 minutes of the exam. And the flashcards are going to include the next most important stuff that you need to memorize. Things like the precedence relationships, finish to start, start to finish, and so forth. You want to keep that stuff straight in your mind. And things like the PMBOK definition for quality and the PMBOK definition for quality assurance. Uh, quality management thought leaders like Duran, HR thought leaders like Maslow and McGregor, and the uh, key concepts and buzzwords that each are associated with. Now, it's important to be selective here, too, with the flashcards. Uh, there's nothing more useless than a deck of 500 flashcards. You should end up with a deck of about 20 to 40 flashcards so that you can flip through the deck multiple times a day and form repeated impressions on your mind. Uh, you'll look at the question side of the flashcard and prompt yourself to remember the answer on the other side and then flip it over to confirm that you're remembering it correctly or to reinforce your uh, memory if if needed uh, so uh, it's again it's important to have a short deck of flashcards i have a suggested deck of about 40 flashcards that i make available to my e-learning students uh, the flashcards is a really good strategy uh, because then later when you're doing your read and retain effort, uh, you can go past that material that you know you have it covered in your flashcards and look for those other gems of wisdom that you're going to try to read and retain on a best effort basis. So that's flashcards and how they fit into the big picture.